Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is MySQL Shorts. MySQL has quite a few functions for dealing with dates and times. While this video won't cover them all, it will cover the ones that I find most useful. The first thing we will talk about are functions that return date and time information. The now function will return the current date and time. If you only need the current date, you can use cur date. If you only need the current time, you can use cur time. The format for the value returned from now is four digit year hyphen, two digit month hyphen, two digit day space, two digit hour using a 24 hour clock colon, two digit minutes colon, two digit seconds. The result from cur date follows the same format, but only contains the date information. And the result from cur time follows the same format, but only contains the time information. Next, we are going to talk about functions that allow us to add and subtract time units from a given date and time. If we want to add units of time to a date, we use the date add function. If we want to subtract units of time from a date, we use the date sub function. Both take two arguments. The first argument is the date we want to use. The second argument is the interval that we want to add or subtract. In our use of date add, we are adding five days. And in our use of date sub, we are subtracting five months. When we run this query, we see that we have added five days and subtracted five months from the current date, which is September 1st, 2023. If you're anything like me, you might be thinking, what happens if we pass a negative interval? Well, when using date add, if you use a negative number in the interval, the result will be the same as if we used date sub. Also, when using date sub, if we use a negative number in the interval, the result will be the same as if we used date add. In this example, we're using a negative two week interval when we call date add, and we are using a negative two year interval when we call date sub. Running this query shows that we subtracted two weeks when we used date add, and we added two years when we used date sub. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we use during this video.